Let's talk about the difference between wings and spoilers today. Pretty often both words are used for the same thing, but they describe different components. The word spoiler comes from spoil, so something that disturbs the flow. In aerodynamics, this is a component where the airflow is only on one side. The most popular spoiler is the gurney flap, a small edge that you stick on a surface to increase the pressure, which reduces lift or even produces downforce. On wings, it can also help to support the suction side, so that the airflow can follow more aggressive wing shapes. Spoilers also help to clearly separate the airflow at a certain location, for example at the back of the car. And they help to create higher and lower pressure where needed. You can use them for example for outlets in the bonnet. In front of the spoiler you get higher pressure, so more downforce. Behind it you get lower pressure, which helps to improve cooling. And you can easily adjust it. But spoilers are also used in a lot of different shapes around the car. The 911 ducktail for example. Or the wheel spoilers to guide air around the wheels to reduce drag. So what is a wing then? A wing has an aerofoil cross section and air is flowing around it on both sides. It has a round leading edge and sharp trailing edge. It can be curved or straight. While a spoiler is a little helper, a wing is a serious aero device that can produce large amounts of force, downforce or lift and also drag. Since the air flows around both sides of the wing, the mounting is very important. Check out my other video if you want to know more about wing mountings. So in summary, a spoiler has airflow on one side, a wing on both sides. I hope you liked this short explanation and see you at the next video.